Ferocious Fluffity, a Mighty Bitey Class Pet. Words by Erica S. Pearl. The box was big and tall and wide. Could there be a pet inside? Children pushed and shoved to see. Aww, they cried out happily. She's so tiny. She's so sweet. Such cute whiskers. Such cute feet. Mr. Drake said, Look, don't touch. She's too little. It's too much. Though the children nodded yes, did they mean it? Take a guess. Everyone in room 2D dreamed of holding Fluffity. So one day when Mr. Drake overslept, quite by mistake, all his students yelled, Hooray! We can take her out today! No one's sure who held her first. Things got bad, then things got worse. She was tiny. She was cute. She was also quite a brute. She bit Eddie. She bit Bert. She bit Whippy. Youch! It hurt! She bit Julia and Jamal. Bit them! Bit them! Bit them all! Children screamed and children ran. Xanders, Zara, Sydney, Stan, Kevin K and Kevin B. At their heels was Fluffity. First she chased them down the hall, through the gym and up a wall. Where to run to? Where to hide? Library, they dashed inside. Meanwhile, back in room 2D, Mr. Drake said, Whoa, it's me. Where can all my students be? Hey, and where is Fluffity? She bit Ruthie. She bit Rose. She bit Dathan on the doze. She bit Perrin, Pam, and Paul. Bit them, bit them, bit them all. As she bit and bit some more, Mr. Drake burst through the door. Children, are you all okay? Look out! yelled Kevin's B and K. But their warning came too late. Mr. Drake now met his fate. Quick as lightning, Fluffity opened wide and bit his knee hanging on tenaciously. Kids tried tickling, kids tried toys, kids tried making lots of noise. Fetch? I don't see how that might. Still she? Still she? Hey! All right! All the kids agreed that they learned a thing or two that day. Get to know your pet before opening her cage's door. Fluffity, they came to learn, had lots of energy to burn. Exercise helped her to be much less prone to injury. Now the kids in room 2D take good care of Fluffity. So much so that Mr. Drake forgave them for their big mistake. In fact, he just agreed to let his students get one more class pet. Come by at two. They're having cake and welcoming their new pet, Jake.